I've opened the Apache Superset project in VS Code and would like to deploy it to an Azure Kubernetes service cluster using Helm. Now I've installed the GitHub Copilot for Azure extension and I'm going to use it to help me out with this process. I've already typed add Azure. So let's get started by adding, I'd like to deploy this to AKS. Please give me the steps to do it using Helm. So it looks like it wants me to install Helm, package the app, set my Kubernetes context, and then we can deploy it. Now I've already set my context. Let's go ahead and run kubectl config current context. And you'll see I have my superset cluster already set up. So now the next step is to install, but I know that I have some other dependencies that Helm needs. So do I need to take any other steps? And it says we can run Helm dependency update. So let's go ahead and do that. That's gonna grab Postgres and Redis. So now from here, we can go ahead and do a Helm install. Now this is gonna take a little bit of time. So while we're doing that, let me switch over to another console and let's see what pods we have out there. All right, so we have several pods that are pending. So we're off to a good start. Let's also run our Helm status command. And you can see that we're pending install. That would be expected, of course. Now, in addition to that, you can use GitHub Copilot for Azure to actually create a cluster. Here I'm asking it, how would I do that? I select my subscription. I can then pick automatic dev test, pick my resource group, cluster and region, and then create. And we're off to the races there. So now this is done, let's go ahead and run kubectl get pods. And it looks like all of our pods are up and running. So that's great. Let's run get services. And you'll notice that I have cluster IPs. That's not going to help me if I want to call this externally. So now that Helm is finished and my pods are running, I need to configure a load balancer to access superset externally. Here's what I currently have. And I give it my cluster IP. So it looks like it wants me to go in and one way to do this is I can just edit my service. So we're going to go in and change it to type load balancer. So first thing I'm going to do is change to nano as my cube editor, mainly because I like it. And then from there, we're going to pop in the kubectl edit service superset and scroll down and find the type. Currently, it's cluster IP, as you saw earlier. Let's go ahead and make that load balancer. Go ahead and save the file. And then after a little bit of time, we can go to our service again, and you can see that I now have an external IP because it's a load balancer service. Let's go ahead and grab that, go to the browser, and we'll use that same port. And now we can go ahead and log in with the defaults that it gives you out of the box. Of course, you would change those. And now we can do whatever we'd like with superset, with dashboards, charts, and more. So download the GitHub Copilot for Azure extension, provide feedback, and enjoy using it with your Azure projects.